We went to Major League Pickleball in Daytona, Florida, and we saw these pros. And a lot of coaches say, including myself, say what? You want to hit the ball deep into the middle every single time, which is a great return tactic to do. But I was watching a lot of the players, and a lot of the players, they were not just hitting deep into the middle, but they were also hitting short. They were hitting their returns into the middle of the court, but instead of super deep, short into the middle of the court between the baseline and the kitchen line. Now, why are they doing that? Because when we play at a rec level, Michelle, I always go, Michelle, don't hit your returns so short into the middle. And I get really frustrated. Now I feel like, wow, I should have told Michelle to do that because we saw the pros do it. Here's the thing. When you hit the returns short into the middle, you have to make sure that you keep the ball low because if someone returns the ball, I serve, Michelle returns, and then I have my third ball at strike zone level above my waist, I can come down and really rip the ball. But what these pros were doing, instead of returning the ball super high, the ball was super low. So it would be short and low, but look, if it's short and low, what's the only thing that I can do, Michelle? Lift the ball up. I can hit the ball up in the air. By hitting the ball up in the air, this is not going to be an offensive shot. So again, by returning the ball low and shallow into the court, that's going to cause the server to what? The server's going to, okay, here we are, I got the next ball. They're gonna come up and they're gonna pop the ball up and not be offensive. And look, probably seven times out of 10, you will take that deep return. So when the server gets this third shot, when the returner returns the ball to the server, they're not expecting a short, spinny return all the time. And if you guys can use your slice, it will keep the ball low. So Michelle and I are going to demonstrate. I'm going to try to return these balls short and low, maybe a little bit higher over the net. Here we are. So the one thing that I went wrong with there, right? And I'd encourage everyone trying to learn this. Number one, try it in practice. Don't try it in normal match play. And number two, don't try to go too low over the net because you'll end up netting the ball. I'd rather have you hit a ball that's a little bit higher over the net, go a little bit too far deep because depth is still good, rather than trying to perfect the shot like I just did for this video and then end up netting the ball. If you're too perfect, you might end up missing just like I did. So here we are, I'm gonna try to go again. I'm gonna try to get it good for you guys, but here we are. So look, I'm gonna keep it low and to the middle. And look, Michelle couldn't even get that ball because it was so low and it died down. There is a ton of wind. We're using these mics to get rid of the wind, but slice low and wind, I mean, that's amazing because what does Michelle want to do? She wants to stay back because she thinks that what? She thinks that I'm going to hit a what? A deep return that she has to stay back there every single time. Here we are, catch it. So again, by returning the ball low, it's going to cause her to hit up. Here we are. Get this uh, third shot, Shell. Here we are, okay. right? Low. Here we are, so now she's got hit up, and now look, I am at the kitchen in a good offensive position. So if you can return the ball low with slice, it will keep that ball low mm. in the middle of the court. Your opponent will have to run up, pop it up, and then again, you can just come down on it at the kitchen. Let's do it one more time. And keep in mind, again, Michelle knows that this return is going to be short, right? Your opponents in pickleball won't. So look, I'm already up here, and I can win the point. So again, next time you're on court, don't just think deep every single time. Try to incorporate a little bit short, low slice in your return shallow in the court, and you will be able to be much more effective while returning the balls. That's a great idea to try that return. Switch it up, add something to your tool belt. For sure. Variety is always key, everyone, and that's a big thing. And again, where you guys saw me miss the first one is sometimes in pickleball, we try to be too perfect, mm -hmm. and we end up missing. Just like another time we were playing in open play this morning, I was trying to go down the line, their opponents, like the one guy was over here, the other opponent went over here, and I had all this open court, and I tried to paint the line, tried to pinpoint the line when I ended up missing. Rather, if I just went to that open court, gave myself some margin for error, I would have easily won the point. Correct. So don't always try to be perfect, right? You want- Just do the smart shot. Yes. And don't have your opponent, don't, here's a great saying, don't end the point yourself, have your opponent end the point, yeah. right? Because if you hit the ball in the net or if you hit it out, you've ended it. Maybe even if it's a super high, easy shot, 
what your opponents can still miss. Yeah. All right. Any other questions? They um, don't even get a chance, though, if you hit the ball in the net. Yes. That's the purpose of this conversation. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, please let me know in the comments below. Make sure to follow the Pickle Yogi, Pickleball with Tyler. Make sure to check out our meetup group. We host weekly Zoom trainings, and make sure to check out our link to our Selkirk paddles. If you use our link, anything on the Selkirk website, you get a gift card with your purchase. Have a good one, and happy hitting.